Tugagarao city is the capital of the province of Cagayan. It is the regional center of Cagayan Valley or Region 2, and is called the gateway to the Ilocandia and the Cordilleras. The city is located 483 kilometers north of Manila, which is an hour by plane and in 10 hours of land travel. Tugagarao City and its neighboring towns in Cagayan, were some of the places visited, during the Grand North Luzon Fun Caravan, held last January 23-29, 2020. It was organized by the Philippine Tour Operators Association Inc. or FOTOA, in cooperation with the Tourism Promotions Board of the Department of Tourism. The St. Peter Metropolitan Cathedral, also known as the Tugagarao Cathedral, is the seat of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Tugagarao. It is an 18th-century Baroque church built in 1761, that was completed in 1768, and is considered as one of the largest in the Cagayan Valley region. Walking distance from the Tugagarao Cathedral, is the Cagayan Museum and Historical Research Center. The museum houses an extensive collection of artifacts, fossils, ethnographics items, trade wares, heirloom pieces, liturgical works and artworks of Cagayanans. Another tourist attraction in Tugagarao is the 16th century Horno Ruin. This orno or oven was built in 16th century, as part of the brick-making technology imparted by the Spaniards to the local residents, as one of their livelihood projects. The bricks produced in the orno, were used in the construction of various Spanish colonial-era churches in Cagayan, like the Tugagarao Cathedral and Ermita de San Jacinto. City on a horse-drawn carriage called Ka Lesa, is one of the interesting tourist activities when visiting Tugagarao. The Ka Lesa in Tugagarao has distinct features and characteristics. It is an open-seater ride with two benches facing each other, a body made of galvanized sheet, and two rubberized wheels. The Kalisa is an icon of Cagayan and culture. It has been part of the way of life of the residents. Aside from being used as a mode of transportation, it was used in agriculture, business, trade and industry, socio-cultural and religious activities and events. Even with the influx of modern mode of transportation, the Kalisa in Tugagarao still exists, and is now part of the tourist attractions in the city. Built 
in 1604 by the Dominican friars, the Ermita de Piedra de San Jacinto, popularly known as San Jacinto Church, is the oldest brick structure in Tuguegarao. It was used as headquarters by American soldiers during the Filipino-American War in 1899. Pancit Batil Patung is a popular local noodle dish in Tuguegarao. One of the most famous pancitaria in Tuguegarao is Eva Pancitaria, located in Barangay Anapuna. In spite of its remote location in the city, this pancitaria is most visited by diners due to its delicious Pancit Batil Patung. preparation and cooking of the Pancit Batil Patung is open to the public. A diner or onlooker can observe and even take pictures of its preparation. Popular food delicacy not only in Tuguegarao, but the whole province of Cagayan, is tupig. It is a rice cake, made of glutinous rice, young coconut strips, and coconut milk. Tupig is a main product and industry of the municipality of Lhasa, that expanded operation in the nearby municipality of Lalo. This make Tupig readily available to passers-by along Maharlika Highway in Barangay Magapit, Lalo. Northeast of Tuguegarao City, is the neighboring municipality of Penamblanca, where the famous Kayao Cave is located. Kayao Cave is the premier attraction in the Penamblanca protected landscape and seascape, and the most accessible among the more than 300 caves in the protected area. Welcome to Cagayan Province and welcome to the town of Peña Blanca. So by the way, my name is Anne Castillo and I have four more companions. We have Wilbur, Xander, Russell, and Michael. <laughs> so I'm going to my game for gaming. So this time, for your here at Cagayan Province and Cagayan Province consists of 28 towns and one city. So that is the Tugigaro City. But this time you're here at the town of Peña Blanca and Peña Blanca came from two Spanish words which means Peña means rock and a Blanca means white. So they call it as the white rock. Okay, that's why they call it as the white rock because Peña Blanca covered 77 square kilometers of limestone that can be dissolved in the water. And Peña Blanca town is also known as a CCP. Alam niyo na po ba yung meaning ng CCP? Sa Manila yun ba? Okay? So we have CCP means po we have the KV capital of the Philippines. Oh. Yes po. Okay, that's why they call it as a KV capital of the Philippines because we have almost 378 caves all in all. They're in Peña Blanca only. And 75 have been documented by the National Museum and 30 of it were marked by the British Exploration Club and we have the smoke member, the Sierra Madre Outdoor Club. Okay, so before we reach up the low cave, we will climb 184 steps. And in the cave, it consists of 7 chambers and 5 natural skylights. Inside the cave, we have 7 prints or 7 cave ethics. 
Take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, kill nothing but time. And in addition, add nothing but a love for nature, add nothing but a pleasure of enjoyments. Just bring home your good memories and just burn your lot of calories po. Okay? <laughs> Ayan, um, before po tayo aakyat sa cave, we will divide your group into five po. Yes po. Five groups po siya kasi five po. Okay, so... Barangay or town, met with enemies or different activities po. Picnic area, located siya sa kabila. Tapos, ayan, kayaking naman, kung gusto niyo may experience, magre-rent kayo ng kaya. Ayan, pwede kayo mag-rent. Upstream kasi may mga malakas na water flow ng water. concrete step stairways to the main entrance of the cave. The main entrance to the cave. The Kayao cave system is composed of seven chambers, each with natural crevices above, where the streams of light passes through that illuminates the otherwise dark areas of the place. The first chamber is the largest room, with a width of about 50 meters, and a height of 36 meters. The cathedral-like room was turned into a chapel, lit by a stream of light coming from a rooftop opening. Another tourist destination that can be visited after exploring to Gagarao City, is the St. Philemon Church. It is located along Maharlika Highway, in the municipality of Alcala, 38 kilometers south of Tugagarao City. St. Philomen Church is a red brick church, which dates back to the Spanish colonization of the Philippines. It is the largest brick church in the Archdiocese of Tugagarao, at 67 meters in length, 24 meters in width, and 12.5 meters in height. It is also considered as one of the widest churches in the Philippines. It was the last tourist destination visited in the province of Cagayan, during the Grand North Luzon Fun Caravan. It was also the last in the Cagayan Valley region, dubbed as, Your Islands and Valley of Fun. Thank you for watching, please don't forget to subscribe.